All right, you guys, get ready. Today is Total Body Metcon. This workout is packed with compound strength moves along with some intense cardio. We're really gonna push it today. We have an 11 minute hit to get you into that metabolic burn. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Do make sure you click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any new workouts. And if you're looking for more content, maybe you wanna help me create the next amazing workout, make sure you click that join button below. Roll your shoulders back. We've got a three minute warm up to get ready for this power hour. Squat, knee comes in and around, then switch. Take your time because we got plenty of opportunities to level it up today. This is just warming the body up, getting it ready for all the work that it's going to do for you today. So we're going to combine elements of strength and cardio for a full body workout. Kick this leg and then you're going to do a little march to switch the legs. Stretching out that hamstring. So it's a straight leg kick. And I like to flex my foot. Lateral lunges, shift over to your right. And then step in over to your left. Pause for a moment in that lunge. Because when we do lateral lunges today, I want you to really feel like you're pushing on the outside of that foot to pop you up. Reach the arms up and with a flat back, you're gonna hinge forward. Now you come to the bottom, bend your knees, and then rise up, sweeping the arms up. So again, reach, hinge, bend the knees, take it up. Give me that length. Good, we're gonna walk it out into that inchworm, so the back of your mat, walk out to your plank. Give me an up dog, down dog, and walk back. Getting that spine ready for all those movements that are gonna challenge your whole midsection today. When we come up, march or jog. Get that blood going. Now that you've lubed up the joints, Light on the feet, brace that core, move it into some jumping jacks, tap or jack. Great job, a little sh shake in the hips here, twist it out. We're getting ready for your first move. It's gonna be a squat press right, then press left, and then squat press both arms. Six moves, 45 seconds of effort, 15 second transition. I'm gonna go for 15, know your body. If at any time like it feels like it's too much, you can be done and take a longer break. Weight is gonna be up, open those feet up, core needs to be on here to protect your back. Squat down, press right, squat down, press left, and then do a double. And you have options, you can keep it where you just alternate. The double gives you that little extra push. Press through the heels of your feet. Keep your eyes lifted. And push your butt back in that squat. Getting ready for a squat jack. So it'll be cardio. 
Take your 15 second break. You're coming into that squat. You stop at the bottom of that squat and you pop up in that jack. Option to tap. Drop and pop. In your squat, look out in front. Protect that back. There's that explosion from the ground out to the jack. We're gonna be lunging back with bicep curls. I'm gonna be using 15 pounds. We alternate the lunge back. I want you to lunge back, stop, curl the weight up, step in and switch. All right. Lunge back, curl, step in and switch. And I'm hinging a little bit forward in that lunge. Really putting weight in the front leg. My chin is lifted. In a lunge, both knees bend almost to 90. And you pause there. We're gonna be taking it into a shuffle touchdown. No equipment. I'm gonna start a little over here. We're shuffling over, touching down. Watch your neighbor, watch your equipment, right? I hope you have enough room in, in the house. Shuffle, touch. And it's quick. One or two hands. the ground. Bend your knees. You're doing a little squat there. Ready to be coming into plank position for the next move. You got a moving plank for the down dog reach. Oh, nice job. Oh yeah. Walk around. All right, moving plank. Go down to the forearms, then come up, and then down dog reach. Down, up, reach for the ankle. Switch the arms. Great way to work the arms, your core. Open your feet up so you're not wobbling your hips too much. Pull that waist in. When you go into that moving plank, look out for your hands. Alternating snatches here. I'm gonna go 25. Know your back. All right, we'll start with the right arm and then drop it and then snatch it with the left. So weight is down in the middle, hand is grabbing, snatch, gently drop it and switch. It should not be a loud thud. It can be a little drop, but you control the movement. And this should be one of your heaviest weights that you have. But if your back is sensitive, lighten the load, please. You have to hold that breath when you move it, right? It's like that, uh. Super job, come on. 
All right, breather. Get yourself a quick sip of water here. We're gonna come back into round two, starting with that squat press. All right, 10 seconds. We're getting ready into that squat. Drop right and left, both. All right, so second time through, I like that Jenna was wanting heavier. She was looking around for some heavier weights. Did you get them? I had 12s up here you could use. Time when you want to start to level up. What helps you burn fat? Hey, strength workouts, high intensity training. Squat jack. If you need these for later. Well, use those two, okay? Squat jack. Yeah, help your friends out. They need those heavier weights, right? Drop and then pop. It's almost like, again, like a jump. If you have the mobility, you're touching the ground. You want to be crazy, you could jump. Maybe the last 10 seconds, level up. Whew. Back lunges. Whew. We're good? Okay, grab that weight. I'm gonna go for 20. Start at the front. Lunge back, pause, curl. Drop, curl, step in. Bending both knees, chest is up. So I went heavier because I'm using a little bit of the leg core to help. Have our shuffle coming up. Great job. Ready right to shuffle? We'll start over here. The touchdown. Or you don't have to touch down. You can just do two lateral steps. Off the outside foot to move quick. This is when you want to slow down. Come on, try to keep it up. Let's go. Ten seconds. You can. Woo. Nice job. Moving plank. Down dog reach. Nice job. Get in your plank. Knees or toes. Open your feet up. Elbows. Hands. Down dog reach. To go fast. You can use this as a way to kind of catch your breath, or you can go fast. It's up to you.
going for the snatch. Right. Now that heavier weight. Start with the left arm this time. I'm gonna go left arm. Pick it up and then gently put it down. So snatch. I'm using my whole body in a snatch. Stay tight to the body. One more. Woo! All right, that block is done. Nice job. Get your water and get ready for the next move. It is a forward lunge, and we're gonna swing the dumbbell up as we lunge forward into those alternating lunges. Remember, you can take it to a back lunge if needed. Ooh, I'm already sweaty. How about you guys? You guys sweaty? Woo! Let's go for this. Do that forward lunge. I'm gonna do a 15 pound weight. We're gonna step forward and then swing that weight up. Feet separated, step forward, swing the weight, and switch. So the arms stay long. So just before I go into it, right, I'm gonna swing it up and then step forward. Can you control the down movement? Keep the feet off that balance beam, keep them opened up. Breathe in when I swing it up. Next move is body weight. We'll be scissoring for three. Drop into the lunge and then kick. One more. Nobody else went. Oh, yeah, I will keep going. So we're gonna scissor for three. I'm gonna have my front leg back. I'm gonna scissor for that three, then drop, kick. One, two, drop, kick. One, two, three, kick. Quick, quick, drop. Call that a scissor jack. Tougher than it looked, huh? Get yourself ready for chest press. I'm gonna do 20. Weight is up along with your feet. Have the weight up. Drop the weight two times. Hold the weight up, drop the legs two times. Watch your neighbor. Press two. And drop two. If you're gonna hit your neighbor, bend your knees. Right? Let the head relax. Again, moderate to heavy here. All we have to do for the next move is plank jack two and then climb for a one, two, three. You pause on that third. Okay, make sure you have room for your plank jack. In your plank jack, if you want to, you could add a shoulder tap. You can even reach forward in that plank jack. And then we climb for three. Jack for two, climb, one, two, three. Jack, other knee, one, two, three. And you could shoulder tap or not. You could just do the plank jacks, even tap. 
It could be up and jack. Ooh, that was tough. Oh my gosh, right? Stay. You're gonna come all the way down on your stomach. Give me a super and then press yourself up. If you can, have a narrow grip to get those triceps. On your stomach, everything lifts. Hands by the shoulders, press up. Down, super, and press. Knees or toes. Lift your legs and arms. So you use the back side. If you want more arm, slow on the down. Who's going slow on the down? Work it. Your body will cheat and knows it's easy. Ah, oh, you're up. I'm gonna use my 12s, where are they? Tricep press back with an upright row. Drop the chest, we push back for two. In the upright row, calf raise. Power, a little power clean. Open your feet up for me, Carol, or you'll fall. So have your base open. Push it back. The arms kind of go a V, right? Push back, soften your knees. Pull it up. This is the bottom of those six moves, you guys. You get that 30 second break. So if you need heavier weights, go find them. Whew, nice job. All right, catch your breath. Here's your moment. Get some water. Wipe your sweat if you need to. Great. Ten seconds. Get yourself ready for that forward lunge swing. Remember, you're gonna start the swing first, and then step into that lunge. Shoulders back, chest is up. So swing and step. Feel the difference? Again, you can take it to a back lunge if needed. Control the down. Oh, this is looking so good, you guys. You're looking so great. Super lunges. Move is just cardio with that scissor. Scissor jack three. Drop and kick. Make sure you have that room to move. Start with the front leg back. back. Ready? One, two, drop, kick. legs, make sure you drop before you kick. Chest press is happening next. Woo. Super. On your back. Arms are up. Legs up. Stagger yourself so you don't hit your neighbor. Right. All right. Press down up two. Drop legs two. 
Look at your wrist, just stay straight. Press through the heel of your hand. Glue your legs together when you drop them. Do some inner thigh, pelvic floor. And don't rush it. I see some fast movements happening. Slower is harder. Lank jack will be happening with that climb three. This is where it gets tough, right? This is where the change happens. You don't give up on you. You do your best. You do what you can do here. Plank jack, two, climb three. Not speed, range of motion here. You're reaching your arm, it goes by your ear. Getting ready for that super. All the way down on your stomach. Remember, if you want to work your triceps more, can you give me slow on the down? So when we super, we lift everything up. We'll start with that first. Super. Hands by the shoulders. Press up slow. those arms inside the frame of your body. It's going to give more triceps. Elbows, rub by your ribs. Point them to the back versus out to the side. This is a nose drippy sweat going on here. How about you? dripping sweat here. Oh, how about you? Try to press. Here we go. I'm going to do 15. Let's go. Woo. Press back two. Half raise. Pull it up. Powerful movement here. If you did our two week challenge, this was in our brutal upper body. Come on. Row it, I need your eyes up. There you are. Finish this, come on. Five seconds. Oh, take a break. You deserve it. Woo. Starting off block three with a lateral lunge. You're gonna step out to the right, and then in, and then over to the left. I'll be using a 25 pound dumbbell, just one. Should be moderate onto the heavy side. So we'll start over to the right first, brace your core, and then drop it into the other hand to go into that lateral lunge. Slow down. Give me range. And again, if you feel like you can go fast, that's a signal that your body is saying, hey, maybe you can go heavier. Because when you have that heavier weight, you're gonna engage more of your waistline. One more to the other side, even it out. Nice job. We're gonna take it into high knees. 
hand goes face cheek, butt cheek. You could march, you could jog, you could jack. We're gonna run, high knees. So it should be quiet on the feet. That means you're bracing your core. Everybody turn this way. Turn to the back. Turn again. And one more turn to you. Exaggerate the hands. Right, butt cheek, face cheek. Movement comes from the shoulders, not your elbow joint. There's a difference there. Dead row and fly. Whew. I'm gonna go 15, I guess. <laughs> Dead row and then fly. We're gonna dropping the chest down. Give me row, one row. Turn the hands in, one fly come up. Row, turn the hands in, and then fly. I'm hinging about 45. And on the row, pinch between the shoulder blades on the fly, it's a little bit different feeling in the pinch. Doing skaters next. Know your level. Nice job. I'm gonna start on this side. We skate over. You can go fast, you can go slow, you can work on balance. You do what you need to, okay? So I'm skating over. And I'm trying to jump over my mat. It could be faster. You can make it a curtsy lunge, or you could drop it back. Now, I'm gonna go a little faster and smaller. So I'm just gonna show you the difference. There's a difference. Foot. Ooh, skull crushers. Come on your back, look at the sky. I'll use my 15. I want your arms bent. Arms bent. First drop the feet and then extend the arms up. Arms bend, now drop the feet. And then the arms. So Diane, when I my arms don't move when my legs move. And then my legs don't move, my arms move. So I have my pinkies in, my thumbs out. So there's two movements here. I drop the legs first, and I do my skull crusher. It's much harder, no momentum. Oh my gosh, right? Moving push-ups are next. Yes. Nice. <sighs> I feel good, huh? I'm gonna face you guys. You guys can stay on your sides, okay? I'm in right here. I'm gonna step out to the right and then to the left. Step hand out, then in. Other side. So I'm moving that push-up. Hand goes out. Hand goes in, knees or toes. I have a narrow base in my feet, but you can go to whatever works for your feet. But you get all strong. Ooh. Five seconds. All right, 30 second break. Keep to it. 
ready to go right to that lateral lunge because I want us to get this done because we have more. Fifteen seconds. All right, let's start over to this side in our lateral lunge. Grab your weight, roll the shoulders back, lateral, and over. And the step kind of goes a little bit behind that front leg. Look out in front. Push your tailbone back. Tiny run. You're doing great. Catch that breath. Breathe good. Ready to run it. Ooh, it's steamy hot now. Okay, run it. Let's go. Movement from the shoulder, not the elbow. You could even do this and bring up your heart rate if you don't want to march. Have you ever tried that? Do that in the lunge position and you get your core. Turn. Movement from the shoulders. Shoulders. There we go to the back. Turn again. Front. Turn the speed on. Whew. Dead row, dead fly. Whew. Deep breath. Grab your weight. Face back. Row. Fly. Rise up. So good for your posture right here. Feel your body is on fire. Yeah? All right, we're gonna skate. I'm trying to just do like a one leg skater. So you try to find that balance. Over. You don't have to go my pace, right? You go at your pace. You touch down. Try that faster one. Go, right here. Try to be on balance. Knees, ankles, watch them. Whew. It's called crusher. Remember, it's two moves. Arms stay bent, and then you move the feet. Drop the heels, and then give me that skull crusher. So we have one move after this, that moving push-up. Really hate them. You can do chest fly. I'll give you 
that option. Try to do what you can. Get yourself in that uncomfortable place. Whew. Moving push up. Whew. Knees or toes. I like a narrow base. I'm right here. Stepping out and in. Changing different directions here. Challenges of pectoral muscles. Along with the shoulders. And your triceps. Ten seconds. Oh, Woo. nice job. Oh, that was awesome. All right, stand up, get some water, towel off if you need to, and we're coming back for a burn. We're gonna be starting off with a low jack, out in, or a moving squat. You have 30 seconds of full out effort. I'm giving you 15 seconds to rest. All right, tighten up anything that you need here. Roll the shoulders back, low jacks, out in. Arm option. Remember, you can do that moving squat. So we're gonna be in an upright position for the first move, second move, we're coming into plank. Modified version is lunge back, reach, we're gonna be in plank position, stepping right foot forward, then left foot. Lunge right and left. Now, you can stay with this or jump the feet. We'll do a couple and then a couple jumps. <laughs> I like, a, I like the combination. You are up. We're gonna be doing a leap forward. I'm leaping forward, 180 turn, and a leap forward. Modification, squat jumps or squats. Leap, 180. Turn. Doesn't have to be a big leap. Relax. Whew. Burpee, hands down, jump back. One, two, three, four, in that scissor or squat lunge. Whew. Hands down, feet back. One, two, three, four. Come on, you got this. One jack, one jump, or you squat. It was already hot in here. It's super hot in here. One jack.
15 seconds, low jack. Whew. Get ready, take your option. Probably not as fast as second round, right? want to give up but you know what discipline go for it lunge with your hand up if you want to you can add some jumps make it a combo That leap. I know this one's tough. Take your options, right? You could do jumping jacks if you want. Get ready, in that squat. Leap, turn. Core tight when you turn. Pull your heels up a little bit in that leap. Woo. Burpee, scissor jack, four. Any modification goes, as long as you're moving. Jump back. Right in the feet when you're jumping them forward, please. Use your core more. Whew. One jack, one jump. Who's got the heavy feet? <laughs> Woo! Use that core more. Pull that weight out of your feet. Bring into your abs. One jack. One jump. Or raise the calves. Done. But no, we're not. We're doing one more round. Yes, this is the metabolic burn. Low jack. Come on, clap it up. Let's go. Low jack. Aren't you glad you hit play? Whew. This is the workout you do after a day of rest. Low jack means low. This is high jack. I'm going low. More legs and core. We're hitting the plank. Two, the bell please. You can, I know you can. Deep breath. forward. And again, you move the foot because you're using the core. Mindful connection here. You just 
some quick ones too. like a hit, right? Oh, high intensity. Breath, squat, leap, 180 turn. Feeling though, tap in. This is high intense. Level eight, nine. Burpee. Push away from that floor. For, that was for you. You asked for it. Nice job. Yeah. Birthday gift. Oh. Yeah, no, we're not having birthday cake. Oh. oh my gosh. Walk around. You suck a wind? I think I'm going to have to crack a door. Ooh. Carol said she can't wait to stretch. How about you? That means we're at the end. Go ahead and do a quad stretch. Pull back that right foot. Oh. So quad stretch, find some balance, heel to the butt. Oh my God, you did amazing. So how often should you train like that? It depends on how old you are. Now, if you're in our age group, you know what age group that is, one to two times a week, right? Maybe once if you're doing super, that was a power hour. Yeah, that's the 30, 40 age group, Jen, yeah. And if you are younger, maybe you can do two, three times a week because your body can recover a little bit faster. Switch the legs, and it depends on what you've been doing the day before. But not every workout should be so intense, right? You can get actually more results when you do maybe some strength training that's just separate, like what we've done in the past, like a push workout or a pull workout or just a, whoops, body specific workout. All right, we're gonna straddle this, open the legs up, hinge forward, and take a deep breath here. You're gonna reach over to your right leg. Take a few deep breaths here. And then over to the left leg. Come back to center. Roll it up, keep your right foot forward, step the left foot back. Knee can go down and do a lunge. Grab the wrist and side stretch it. 
If you need your knee to be off the ground, take it off the ground, tuck the tailbone, squeeze your glutes just that little bit. And then from here, just reach it up and back. Give yourself some spinal extension. Look up, and it helps when your knee's on the ground if you're gonna look up. Step it in, switch the side, lunge back. You can do side stretch first. Stretching gets you into recovery mode. It helps it with the body getting back into where it needs to be. And then reach up, you can look upward. Step it in, roll the shoulders back. Figure four, so find some balance. Ooh, right foot. If you need to, you can sit on the ground. Rise it up, switch legs. Foot goes down. Roll the shoulders back. Give yourself a big inhale. Reach it out. Reach it up. Pause at the back. Pull it down into your heart center. And one more big inhale. Let it go. You did amazing. Like, seriously, you made it through there. That was a tough one, wasn't it? Ooh, I don't know if it was tough because we hadn't done one in a while or because we were just hot, but... No, I think the workout was tough. You guys did amazing. Thank you again to my crew. Thank you to you. If you enjoyed this workout, help me out. If it's creating value in your life, thumb this up, hit the subscribe button, and share this with a friend, you guys. We will see you at the next workout. Take care. You guys deserve more high fives after that. Nice job. That was a three round. Woo! Yay! Yeah.